Hey guys, Alex Costa here. We get about a hundred customer emails a week asking for help. So we put together a series of educational videos to help you. Just a lot of fucking emails. And they're stupid. Hope you enjoy. And I'm not trying to insult you. I still love you. We still love you. So that's why we're making these videos to help you or your friends actually get the education they need. So holster maintenance is super important. It's pretty much hand in hand with firearms maintenance. You go to the range and you shoot, shoot your pistol quite a bit, gets dirty. You take it apart, you clean it, you make sure that it's well lubricated, it's clean so it functions properly, right? So you want your firearm functioning properly so if you ever need it in an emergency, it functions and fires the same way it did at the range. Uh, I'm kind of backwards. I clean my gun before I go to the range. And if it's my carry gun, I'll pop a few shots on it through it. I'm like, oh, gun functions perfectly fine since I cleaned it and took it apart and dissected it. I'm confident that I'll carry it and I'll clean it somewhere down the line. Uh, when you have a carry gun that you carry every single day, most of you will take your holster off at the end of the night, throw it on your nightstand, Firearm never leaves the holster, Very, especially nowadays, we have an ammo shortage, so people aren't shooting their guns. So these guns are living in your pants. Uh, all these wonderful grip texturings that are added to all these firearms are collecting uh, skin cells and lint and um, pubic hair and all the nasties that come off your body all day. I wear an undershirt, that's great, but all that lint is getting um, abraded off from all these different grips, texturings, and they're getting into your holster. We have sweat guards. It creates a seal on against the firearm that tries to keep a lot of the schmutz out of your holsters, but inevitably stuff gets in. Here's a Nidhogg outside the waistband holster with the QLS. You're running and gunning in a class, crawling around on the ground doing stuff. Crap's getting in your holster. Um, commonly, people will have their holsters for a few months, Debris gets in, they go to the range, they run their hol they run their gun out of their holster, and they'll message us and they'll say, your holster scratched our gun. Well, the funny thing about Kydex is Kydex is a plastic and guns are metal, which means this is not gonna scratch your gun unless there is foreign material somewhere in your holster that is contacting the metallic surfaces on your gun or frame and causing advanced wear. So, if you want to clean your holster, you, you, you should clean and check your holster often. Hardware loosens up. We do have rubber bushings here. Every time someone purchases a holster from us, their receipt reminds them about adding Loctite. Please, when you get your holster, back your screws out, apply blue Loctite to your screws here and your screws here, put them back in, make sure these ones are really tight. Adjust these to the tension that you like your holster to be at let the Loctite set, run your holster. That should prevent your screws from backing out. Over time, things loosen up. Just like the lugs on your wheels on your vehicle or anything else that is put together with screws, you want to make sure that your screws are tight from time to time. Same goes for holsters. You are relying that your holster and your gun are gonna protect your life. If your holster falls apart because you fail to maintain it, it is your own fault, not the manufacturer's. We do not put Loctite on the screws before we ship them out because we set these holsters to the retention that we approve it for and we like. It might not be what you want. You might want your holster retention to be so tight that it almost takes your pants off when you pull that gun out because you have some adverse fear about your gun falling out. That's fine. We don't care what you care about. We just care that you Follow our suggestions and put Loctite on them when you get the holster and then set it to your preferred retention setting. So Loctite, number one. Uh, here's some cleaning products. We use these for firearms cleaning. Battleborn Breakthrough Clean HP Pro. It's my favorite lubricant oil on the market. Uh, I use it in my ARs and I use it in my pistols. Awesome stuff. Uh, it's got a nice little needle applicator and uh, the, the solution that they use in here, the oil um, that they use, is great for cleaning metal as well. 
So if your screws are starting to get rusty from sweat, you're running this all summer, things start to rust. This is steel, it's coated, it eventually gets gross. You know, you can see here on my Tor Serpent, that the eyelets are all showing brass because I carry this every day. If you need to clean rust off your screws, screws are made out of steel. They are coated. It's a really durable coating, but when your holster <laughs> is in your pants in a humid environment, let's say Dallas, Texas, it's humid as fuck there in the summertime, then you're sweating. You are creating a salinated environment in your pants. That means full of salt and humidity. What does humidity and salt do? It corrodes and destroys things. Things rust fast. So if you have rust building up on your screws, on your holster, a couple drops of HP Pro, you can use, I would not use anything abrasive like scotch Bright pad or steel wool, but a nylon bristled brush, give it a good rub down, get, let, that, uh, let that oil soak into the rust and clean it up a bit. Wipe it down with a rag and uh, soap and water to get it off, put your Loctite back on, screw it together, and you can even go as far as to dab a little bit on that on your finger and just wipe it onto the hardware so it'll seep into the rust and prevent it from growing. Um, if anyone's ever had a knife, you can hear, you might be able to hear this. It sounds real gritty. Uh, I probably have sand in here. I carry this knife every day. So I'm gonna put a little of this HP Pro down the blade. Give it a nice little coating. And now my knife is lubricated with a little HP Pro. It'll protect the blade. I have some grittiness inside my knife sheath. Well, knife sheaths are hard to get into. You can dunk this in water, which I have already done. I still have that can of air. little can of air in there, blow it out. You are going to um, stick your knife back in it. Sometimes I'll, I'll work it in and out, in and out, in and out, very sexually. Uh, I might add a little bit more oil to kind of fill in those uh, voids in between the knife sheath and the knife. If it's something that you don't use often, but you keep on your hip, this is more of a defensive fighting knife. I don't, I don't use this to open boxes. I use my Tor. Phoenix pocket knife to open boxes. Uh, this knife is near and dear to me. I do carry it on me all day. So just like a knife, you want to maintain the surfaces, keep them clean. Um, this is the Breakthrough Clean military grade cleaning solvent. This is what I clean guns with. So these are my cleaning suggestions for guns. We won't put that away yet. There's still more use to that oil down the line. A lot of you guys get holsters and you might have a aftermarket cut slide. You might get some Kydex shavings from your holster. Really simple, easy workaround to getting around that. This HP Pro, if you go inside with like scotch Bright pad, which is the green pad on the back of a, a sponge. If you put a little HP Pro on the area that's getting abraded by your slide cocking serrations or whatever, put a little bit of that in there take a scotch Bright pad or the, the rough side of a sponge and just massage out those rough spots. That'll remove any high points that might be interfering with your firearm because it's aftermarket slide cut or it's just a tight fitting holster. Wipe it down with a clean rag afterwards, put your gun in, that'll get rid of a lot of the shavings and the lubricant from the HP Pro lubricates those hot spots in the holster and you'll have a nice smooth, clean draw. So HP Pro is pretty awesome for that. We already talked about cleaning your screws and wiping them down after drying them. Um, household cleaners, Windex. You just got done at the range. Things are nasty. You got sand in here. It's gritty. You just cleaned your gun. You don't obviously want to put it back into a dirty holster. Super easy. Hose down the inside of your holster with Windex. What's it going to do? If you have a brush or bottle brush, you want to get in there, but just wipe your holster down. If you don't maintain your holsters and your gear and you get them dirty and you use them because this is a tool, you know, you are, it's got carbon and fire and lead and all kinds of fouling coming out of it. 
and then you're stuffing it into a holster. You are introducing contamination to your holster. So if you want your whole, your gun to look squeaky new every time and don't have any adverse wear on high spots, don't carry a gun. <laughs> the other day, don't own a gun. If you want a safe queen, leave it in the fucking safe. You want a gun that you run hard at the range and you want to maintain it and still keep it kind of nice uh, while still running the shit out of it, clean your gear, clean your equipment, clean your holsters, wipe down the insides, get in there and all the little folds and stuff and get the sand out, get the dirt out, get the debris out. Even carrying this gun inside my waist in a holster, you know, inside my shirt, I'm wearing an undershirt, stuff's still going to get in there. Debris's still going to get in there. Stuff that will cause advanced wear will get in there. Clean your holsters. You guys are adults. <laughs> you know, you, you don't just, well, mo some of you, but you, you sit in a car all day. You want your car relatively clean when you're in it so that you're not dirty when you get out. Clean your car. <laughs> Same goes for holsters. Check your screws. You know, this is a QLS setup. We have these uh, rubber bushings in there to create an offset. It creates a washer effect to help prevent these from backing out. Put things back out in time. Check your stuff. Add Loctite. Maintain your equipment. And again, we don't offer, we don't send out Loctite packets because most of you people are grown men and women. You should have Loctite at your house. It's an important tool for anything around the house, not just holsters and guns. And, uh, you know, own a set of screwdrivers because <laughs> you own a firearm. You own tools. Maintain your stuff. Um, we, it's kind of sad that we had to make this video because it's more common sense, but uh, these are the tools that we suggest for cleaning and maintaining your, your, your products, your goods, your firearms, your knives, your equipment. Um, if your equipment is running flawlessly and is maintained, then you won't have a problem getting to it when you need it. Same reason why you clean your gun, keep that super smooth and buttery because you want your gun to work when you need it. So please just use common sense. Very simple to maintain your equipment and your uh, guns and your equipment will last longer if you do.